So in my last video, I talked about Peterson pipes. And several people wanted me to do a video on Savinelli pipes. And I think I mentioned in that video that I would, in fact, do that. There's a lot of things I want to talk about on this channel. I want to do a video about Meerschaum, uh, about artisan pipes, about different styles of tobacco and so forth. But today our focus is on Savinelli. I think I have also shared in the past that it was a Savinelli 626 bent apple that drew my attention when I first walked into a local brick and mortar pipe shop. They had a wide selection of pipes and it was the 626 that stood out to me. I didn't know the difference between a bent apple and a bulldog or a Canadian. Uh, I, I didn't know all of that. I just picked up what appealed to me at the time. And it was, in fact, um, a pipe that became a favorite of mine, and I have added several 626s to my collection since. Now, there's some people who will say that factory pipes are not going to compare to handmade artisans. Well, it depends on what you want. If you have three, four, five hundred dollars to spend on an artisan or handmade pipe, then by all means do so. But what I have discovered is that many people who are uh, pipe smokers, especially if they're starting out with uh, pipe smoking or they're returning to it uh, after a brief hiatus, they're not going to spend a whole lot of money on this until they know that they're go going to enjoy it and that uh, it's something they will uh, want to invest in long term. I know that's the way I was. Uh, I decided when I started collecting pipes that uh, I would be uh, uh, better suited uh, to build the collection with Savinelli and Peterson. It wasn't until a good year after I had been smoking uh, Seven Ellis and Peterson regularly that I started buying more handmade stuff. And, and I enjoy my handmade pipes. I really do, but um, not a lot of people are going to spend three, four, five, sometimes a thousand dollars or more. Uh, that's a mortgage payment for a lot of people. So I don't think it's fair to place factory pipes and uh, expensive handmaids in the same category. So I want to share with you a few of my favorite Savinelli shapes and tell you a little bit about why they are important to me. And I know that opinions on this are going to be widespread. And these, this is not an exhaustive list um, of the different shapes that Savinelli offers. Uh, the first I would like to talk about is the um, six, excuse me, the 315, the 315 KS. This is uh, a Prince. This is a Christmas pipe from, let me get the year right, I believe it's 2017. Um, I can't, I can't read exactly what it says on there, but I'm pretty sure this is a 2017 Christmas, uh, St. Nicholas from Savinelli. I don't know if you can see that in the light or not, but I enjoy the, the Prince shape uh, for English blends. Uh, the little bit uh, wider bowl uh, tends to serve well to me when I'm smoking English blends, and it's very comfortable. You can uh, eat all of these pipes, ex except for a couple that I'm going to show you, are easily clenched for the most part. These are not uh, heavy pipes by any means. Actually some handmade pipes uh, can get a little bit uh, uh, heavy uh, in, in, some, in some instances. I've shared with, with you on this channel before that I really enjoy my Boswell pipes. But my Boswell pipes are not meant for clenching. I, I simply don't clench most of them because they are made of a rather meaty piece of briar and they've got some weight to them, but these are excellent for clenching just as well as most of the Petersons are that I talked about in my last video. The iconic 673KS, this is in this year's St. Nicholas pipe. This is the 2021 St. Nicholas finish with that gorgeous emerald green acrylic stem on there. Uh, most people know about the 673 because of John Harden matches 860. I think I got his name right there. If I didn't, uh, uh, the matches fans out there do please forgive me. But uh, I know that a lot of people smoke a 673 KS because of him. Uh, I don't know exactly uh, uh, 
what made him choose that pipe he just uh, was, he was drawn to it probably for several reasons I know he's probably got a video or two that he left us that explains that but I'm glad he did I'm glad that he introduced so many people to this lovely lovely pipe and this is the pipe that I chose to put in our pipe cottage Christmas pack this year and it has sold extremely well people are drawn to the shape Again, it clinches extremely well. I was watching a video from uh, George Bruno uh, a couple of weeks ago, and he was talking about his pipes, and I think that he mentioned uh, that if he had to choose one pipe, he would choose this one. And uh, I can see why he would say that. It has a wide enough uh, chamber on it to accommodate different uh, makes of tobacco, flakes, a uh, 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 ribbon cut. Uh, this will accept coins. I mean, it, it's wide enough to where it will accept so many different kinds of tobacco. And the chamber wall is thick enough to where if, when you're smoking those prized Virginias that tend to burn a little harder, uh, it's not going to affect your uh, it's not going to affect your hand as much. Now, that's the six seven three. We all know that. Uh, this is the 2019 St. Nicholas again. I love the St. Nicholas finish on these pipes. The series uh, is, is one of my favorites. Uh, this is the 2019 um, St. Nicholas 626 Bent Apple. A gorgeous, gorgeous red uh, stem on that. I don't know if you can even find these anymore. Somebody probably has them for sale, but um, uh, it's just a lovely pipe. It's not very large, and it's it's much lighter, I would say, than uh, the 673 or the 315. And I keep returning to this shape when I want an aromatic. It, it was kind of nostalgic, I guess, but it was an aromatic blend that I first put in my 626 when I, when I bought that first one. But if you want something that's light, that you can travel with very easily, uh, I would certainly recommend a 626. I mean, you can pack it most anywhere. And sometimes, actually, when I'm traveling, I've got another video on traveling with pipes if, if you're interested in, in that particular topic. But when I'm traveling... I, Sometimes I will separate the stem from the bowl uh, simply because that ensures that the stem is not going to uh, be damaged in any way, particularly when it connects uh, to the bowl right here. That The stem can sometimes become a little weak, and so you have to be fairly careful about that. But most of the time I probably won't think about it. But uh, all these pipes that I've shown you so far come with uh, six millimeter filters. And again, this is not news to anyone who enjoys Savinelli pipes, but uh, I'm, there, there are many people out there who are not familiar with these. Uh, they all come with the 6 millimeter filter, the ones that I've showed you thus far. And what I usually do is I pull it out immediately. I do not enjoy smoking with filters. And... Um, when I first got my, my 626, I didn't know that there were filters in pipes. And it was very difficult for me to get a good draw. And uh, I, I guess it was, it might have been Mutton Shot Pipe or someone was talking about filters. Um, and, and I watched a, a video and I said, hmm, I wonder if this pipe has one in it. Sure enough, pulled it out. I pulled the pipe apart and there was a filter. I immediately took it out and I had a wonderful draw from that point forward. I think filters are probably more useful for people who tend to smoke a little bit heavier. Uh, they're drawing uh, with more strength, but I like to sip the smoke when I'm, when I'm smoking a pipe. And so I don't, I don't really want anything to discourage that sipping uh, a method that I like to use. Moving right along, of course, I'm just going to briefly mention this. This is not necessarily a favorite of mine. This is the author, the 320KS. A lot of people like this pipe. It's, it, it's a meaty piece of briar in hand. You know that you have a pipe in your hand when you're holding this. You, you can clench it, but the stem is so fat on this thing. The stem is so fat, I can hardly get it to clench just the way I like it. And so it, I may very well in the near future play some of my 320s on the Pipe Cottage website to sell them as estates. 
because I just don't smoke them. Uh, they are extremely popular with a lot of people, but I rarely will reach for a 320. And actually, we don't sell a whole lot of uh, uh, sell a whole lot of 320s. I offer them, but by far, uh, we sell more 673s and 626s than we do these. Um, another one that we've been selling a good good many of is the Clark's favorite. Now this is the second or third Savinelli that I bought when I first started collecting these. Um, largely, I, I, I didn't buy it for any other reason other than the fact that it was called a Clark's favorite. Uh, when I was growing up, uh, Gone with the Wind was one of our films that my family liked to watch. and. Um, Clark Gable was one of my uh, grandma's favorite actors of all time, and I know uh, uh, Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind as a film is not in vogue anymore, but I really am not the kind of person who cares about what is in vogue these days. So it, it, I wanted to honor uh, Clark Gable with this, and it's good marketing on Savinelli's Savinelli's part. I mean, he may or may not have smoked something that looked like this. I'm not sure. But it's amazing how light this pipe is. It's essentially the same bowl as the 626. Um, but it, it, I use it for Virginias almost exclusively because of the long stem here. The, it, I, I do believe that a longer stem, uh, if you have a problem with Virginias burning a little warm, it will in fact help uh, uh, cool that smoke down just a tad bit by the time it gets to your tongue. And actually, I think I only ever smoked Virginia cream uh, from GLPs out of this pipe. That uh, vanilla topping or whatever it is he puts on, that's kind of caked into the inside of that bowl. It's a lovely experience. A Clark's favorite. I would certainly recommend that to anyone who doesn't have it. And that pipe, of course, comes in smooth and a rusticated finish. Now, the pipe that we... I've sold more Bing's favorites than any other Savinelli pipe on the website. And I, I think that's a, a, that, that can be explained by, by several things. But I think that when people see a, a Bing's, they're reminded of the mid-20th century, the, 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 the sort of the heyday of the pipe in American culture. Lovely to clinch. This is style with a capital S. This pipe just screams style and sophistication. Um... The rusticated finish comes with an acrylic stem. I think most all of the smooth finishes on this pipe come with a vulcanite stem. The reason I didn't buy Bing's favorite for such a long period of time is because it has the little golf emblem on there. I don't care anything much about golf. I'm not really a sports guy at all. I spend most of my time reading books and smoking pipes and taking care of my family. I've, I, I've never been attracted to, to golf and so I really didn't have any reason to have a, a golf paraphernalia uh, on my smoking pipe. I took a little bit of offense to that. I just didn't want it. But after a while I finally broke down and bought one and, and I have added several to the collection since because they are just beautiful. And there are other pipe manufacturers of course that produce a Bing shape but I think most people are familiar with the Savinelli version. And uh, we sell these. I can't keep them in stock. Every time I, I, I get some more from um, the distributors, it just sells within two or three days. It's just a beloved shape, and, there's, and, and I think it's, it, there's many good reasons for it. Now, uh, those, that's just a few thoughts that I have about Savinelli pipes in general. Again, it's about the same as what I would say for Peterson. Uh, if you're interested in building a collection without spending three to four, five hundred dollars on one pipe, uh, I think you have a good middle ground with Savinelli and Peterson. Uh, there are certainly cheaper pipes that you can buy. Uh, you can buy corn cobs if you want to. It doesn't matter. I mean, cobs, cobs smoke just as fine as most any other briar that you can buy for much more money. Uh, but they don't last as long. They don't have the longevity. I like to buy briar pipes, and that's the bulk of my collection, simply because I want them to last. I want my pipes to outlast me if possible. 
and uh, there comes a time when you do want to uh, branch out and, and buy uh, more handmade uh, pieces and so forth. But uh, I think that for my audience, uh, primarily the people who I'm talking to are people who um, are trying to build a collection because they're just get, getting into the hobby or again they're coming back to the hobby after years of maybe being away from it and, and, and just not wanting to spend a whole lot of money to start with. Uh, so that's all I want to say about Savinelli. Excellent brand. Uh, their quality uh, I don't think can be beat for the price. And I just wanted to thank each and every one of you who has been leaving encouraging comments uh, on our YouTube channel here. I always read the comments and I always look forward to that engagement with, with each and every one of you because it really is an important part of what we do here at the Pipe Cottage. Um, since the channel has grown, uh, there has been some negativity from some people, and I knew that was going to happen. I knew that we would start to get some rather nasty, ugly comments now and, now and again. Uh, and that can be discouraging. Uh, I'm, I, I would be lying if I said that I don't take that kind of thing to heart, just for a, if, if no more than for a few moments, I, I think about it. Um, but I am impressed and encouraged by the overwhelming generosity uh, that I have found among people who view this channel and who have subscribed to it. And I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for that generosity and for supporting the Pipe Cottage, uh, both the channel and the store. I'm, I'm so very, very grateful for that because that's how we continue to make content uh, is, is through how you support us through the store and leaving those great comments. It, it, it's encouraging to me. But... Um, we're coming up to the Christmas season now. Uh, I hope to make a couple more videos before we get into Christmas. But in the meantime, uh, I am Alan Harrelson with the Old Carolina Pipe Cottage. I am so glad you've taken the time to visit with me a while today.